Yeah, morning, morning. <laughs> you still have been as welcome to the mm-hmm. podcast episode number uh, 51. 51. I'm Ali, joined by Lachlan. Yo. Sharma. And that is Let's... it. First things, this, how are you all doing? What's well, like the middle of the road? 13. I was like, yeah. truly so Kelly. I am a 12. Okay. Just out to frame Kelly. Yeah, that's like my. Sometimes I just feel like I'm just out of frame, you know. Yeah. It should have a. It should have an angry Kelly. Which one is that? A what? Angry? angry Kelly. Number three and number four looking kind of X. Three just looks yeah. confused. Four just looks out of it. Nah, just say one. No, it doesn't match my feelings. We need to okay. expand this new one. <laughs> <laughs> We already expanded it. Yeah. Whenever I Kelly mean, gets back to Canada, I'm just going to hang out with her and Jonathan and take silent pictures. I'll have an angry one in no time. Yeah. I feel not solid number 20. Damn. Yeah. Uh, this week's episode brought to you by the following struggle tweet. And all the people can actually like see me copy-paste it because I only have one screen now. Damn. We've really... Budget's really gone down, huh? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Lachlan, what is he wood? Way too busy and also hungover. Rest in peace. Go on speed then. Thanks. Gonna end it. Need. It gets better, Lachlan. One eight hundred. for that song title is. <laughs> Remind me, you can follow us on Twitter for more. Empire. I don't think that was the song. <laughs> wrong nah, wrong nah. song. No, no, no. Wrong that song's right number. to me. Ain't that that logic song? <laughs> That's what he was talking about, right? That commercial. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, fellas, what's the vibe today? We only have three of us, and we're doing it on a Sunday, because I was <sighs> busy yesterday. I was also busy yesterday. Fantastic. Why were you busy yesterday? Um, I was unpacking. Oh, I have not done that yet, um, and probably will not do that. It took me, like, an extra day, because I was just so tired from the flights on Friday. Yeah, because you... Wait, wait, how long did you go without sleeping? I didn't get... Well, I woke up at, like, midday that day. 69. I... 69. I woke up at midday on Thursday. For con- to... nah. Yeah, for context, you know, I'm back in Trinidad now. Hurry. I also, I am back in Barbados now. Yes. So. Yes. And I'm back in Trinidad. Yay. Yay. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so I woke up on the you know, sixteenth at like midday, left the house at three, took a bus for two and a half hours, met my friend, gone to take me to the airport, was in the airport till eleven PM. That was when the flight was. Was flying for about five and a half hours and there's the time zone difference, so I landed at around seven AM in Trinidad local time. Mm-hmm. And then I slept for like three hours because I had to wake up for a work meeting. Because Friday was my last day. But... Oh, okay, neat. Yeah. That's cool. And that was my last meeting. Anyway, yeah. I think I only started packing like, I left, what day is it? Today's Sunday. I left Friday morning. So I only started packing like Thursday evening because I had finished my finals like the day before. When did I finish my finals? Wait, no, what's the schedule? Yeah, I, I finished my. Yeah, okay, what? yeah, I finished my finals Thursday. And I only started packing Friday evening, and then so I had to like pack all of my stuff, and then like a friend of mine was having like a party, which was a surprise party for someone else. And then I was like, I have to leave to get a taxi at four a.m., or I could go to this party until like midnight. So of course I went to the party, uh, which ended in my favor because I got like a pack of three oatmeal cookies, which. Uh, I ate on the plane, which was nice because I went a long time without eating. And I went down to catch a taxi with this one girl. Then we caught a taxi together. And th- then we got in the plane and I slept on the plane. And then I got home and I went by Latoya because her mom was having a birthday party. And then I slept. Fantastic. Yeah. No, I was eating all day at least. Like, 
I had food before I left. Then I got. I wanna say McDonald's, and then I had food at the gate. That was fun. Oh, you just you just eat. But I no, ate, I, like I. What? Yeah, I think I what. What? No, I was saying I like realized before I left I had a bunch of food left, so <laughs> I just cut up everything in my fridge and made pasta, and just had like, this giant clusterfuck of a pasta. Uh, and then I had the oatmeal cookies, but then I just didn't feel like eating anything because there's not really places to, like buy food when you're in the when you're in the airport. I feel like and I never really like had a reason to get food in between there, so I only really realized I was, was hungry like halfway through the plane, and I was like, I don't feel like going to like pay for plane food. Wait, you didn't get so a free I meal? Just... No, I flew Air Canada. Oh, uh, no, that was your mistake. Never fly Air Canada, bro. I usually don't, but, like, there was the only... I think when I flew down, I couldn't get a flight on WestJet, so I had to get one on Air Canada, so my return flight was Air Canada. Air Canada is, like, the actual worst. I hate Air Canada with a flu and Yeah. If you do anything in this life, never fly with Air Canada. It's yeah, too late, I'm so going cool. to hell. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I couldn't sleep on the flight because it's an overnight flight, and that is when I am awake. Oh, Yeah. Those are my normal waking hours. Like. Yeah. So I was just a week in hell. Because it was an overnight flight and people thought that would be a good thing to bring, you know, babies on. So the entire mm-hmm. five and a half hour flight was just screaming children. No, a fun time. Also, yeah. the people next to me, there was this, like, middle-aged woman and then a senile old man. And they were talking the entire time. And because this old man is senile, he would say something, and then a minute later, forget that he already said that. <laughs> so they had the same three conversations over and over again for five and a half hours. And I had to just listen to That's it. That's fun. Again, and again, and again. I was actually just stuck in hell on that flight. Yeah, but you know what's worse than, than listening to it? Actually being part of that conversation. That's <laughs> worse. Why did you As a same person, that is worse. Why did mm-hmm. you entertain in it? Like not once because some people say, are nice. Not once did she no, ever because, say, I mean, "Uncle, what? you asked that already." Like she just kept like you know, like no, saying over and over again. What? But she's trapped next to him for the entire ride. So what was the point? You know, no, like this is like one was amazing, time right? I, I. Yo, what? No, you good. Go ahead. One time I went um out with my father to he went to the grand check one of his old friends or something. And it was just me and him. And we went by them. And it was just the man and his wife. But, like, his wife had an accident or something. So her memory is, like, really weird. So I was sitting inside with her. I never met this woman before. And she started telling me about, like, a little family drama. And I was like, mm-hmm. Interesting. Ooh. I don't know anything about them. Spilly. And then, then, like, 30 seconds of, like, real quiet space would happen. And then she would start over. But I just thought she was, like, um, you know, sometimes you, when you tell someone something, it's and I'm sorry, it's sending over and over, but in different ways. I thought that's what was happening, <laughs> but um, it happened like six times, and I tried to get like a really all fed up. And um, but like I couldn't do anything about it because I was basically trapped. So I, I texted my sister and I told her to call your father and tell him I'm ready to go. <laughs> and, um, and she called him, and then we then he was like five minutes. And it ended up being the next half an hour. <laughs> and um, then we went. So. But, like, it, it's hard. It's very hard to get out of, like, a repeating conversation. Because they don't know what to tell them. Because they clearly want to talk about it. Yeah. And they don't remember that they talk about it already. Mm-hmm. I've had the same experience with my dad. Except he's not senile. He just does not un- listen to a thing I say. Yeah. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But yeah, that's cool. Old people are fun. Look. I remember one time a, I was with one of my aunts and then she was telling me about some teddy bear's mother and some drama that involved the bear's mother. Then she died. What? So I don't remember. I just remember I was at a part. I was like, how old was I? I was like an age and I was oh. just there mm-hmm. at like this party or something and I was talking to this lady and she was speaking about this bear as though it was a person and had a mother. 
And that was okay. fun. And then she died a couple of years later. So it's just life, you know? Yeah. Ali? <laughs> hmm? Where, where is Don? Where is <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just you and me. What shall we I guess do it's just... really I don't know, Sharma. What's new with you? Uh, I don't know. I watched Spider Man yesterday. Oh, fine. I want to go, but it dep- I no longer have a vehicle. Uh, and I promised yeah. Toya I would go with her. So then we also now have to both find ways to get there and also time to go. But we don't have taxis? Taxis also, just expensive, walk. girl. Just walk. We just don't have walk. like. Girl, no. Barbados is. Barbados no. can fit in my house. Just girl. walk. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, like taxis yeah. cost real money. It's not like I feel like from what I hear, you guys like you guys got like taxis like available. It's not really like that for us, or at least it is. Yes, but like, keep in mind, it's like a tourist country, so the tourist the taxis charge like tourist prices. So you know? they don't use a local. That, that, that don't matter. How much for a taxi in Barbados? Like, I actually don't know. Because I remember I asked, like, call a lady to, like, get a taxi one time. It was, like, 40 Bayesian or something. So, just for, like, one ride. 40? Yeah. This was, like, something I had to pay for, like, that just is before expensive. I left. That yeah. Is yeah. And that's why, like, I don't, like, we don't really travel yes, taxi, people, like, unless we have to, but, like. That's $135. That's really expensive. Yeah. 125. Yeah, mm-hmm. something so. Oh, speaking yeah. of, do you TT. want two TT? Do I want what? Two TT. Two dollars? Yes. Um. Be- why? My sister came in my room yesterday and was just like, I found some training money and I don't know any trainees, but you do, so I'm going to give this to you. Is it the note? Because I don't want it. Because you're I- going to... That not gonna be worth nothing in a week. I feel like two TT isn't worth anything already. <laughs> from oh what I know about your currency. First of all, you're right, but secondly, <laughs> it's going to be worth even less because the cotton bank, the cotton notes will be out of circulation. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, it's Mm-hmm. I don't know. Keep it as an artifact or something. <laughs> That's not artifact. Right. I used to do that with Bayesian bills, but I don't know where any of my like older Bayesian bills are. Because like when we cha- we've changed like bills a couple times, and I want to like like keep a collection of them to be like showing my grandkids or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I got like some money around there in my like duct tape top piggy bank. I oh. never saw the coins in it except for like in coins. Mm-hmm. I think old coins are nice. Yeah, coins are cool. We eradicated our like one cent piece because like. No one was using that, and apparently, good economies do that or something. I don't know. But yeah. Oh, you want to know something fun? So, like, the her- reason I got my first bank account is that when I was a kid, I used to hear this ad on the radio for like this smart start account where you would- it was an account for kids where you'd sign up, they would give you $10 in your account for free, and yeah. you would get a free piggy bank. And so I heard that and I went to my mother and I was like, I want this account so that I can get a free <laughs> piggy bank. And she said, okay. And then I opened my first bank account and I got a free well, piggy what, bank. What was the point of having a piggy bank with a bank account? The piggy bank? Well, I'm not depositing all of my money, you know? Okay. Okay, I guess. I was like seven when this happened, to be fair. <laughs> So, like, I wasn't, like, walking over with a debit card or something. I just had, I just wanted a bank account because I wanted a free piggy bank. And, well, you also got $10 for free, so. And $10 for free, exactly. You know the vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I but no, like. Hmm? I had to open it because, um, well, my parents were divorced. Uh-huh. And you get, there's, like, a fee, like, a maintenance fee for the child. An elder child, but, like. Um, my father wants me to open 
an account to hold that money. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I didn't I didn't get any money and then we had to put our own money in it and um Hello. I didn't get feedback. Hello. Yo, what happened yo. to you? Yeah, my mom just like came into the room so I had to talk to her. Yeah. Yeah. Were you still recording? I'm still recording this entire time, yeah. Okay, great. We've had some good conversation. <laughs> you all didn't hear anything from my end, right? No. Okay, no. girls. Was, that's a conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good to know. And yeah. I was kind of anyway, the John... time, so it didn't show up. Mm. Yeah. Okay, good. We good. We good. Yeah. Anyway, Jonathan, tell us about your first bank account. This bank account? Oh, boy. I think I still have the card for it. It's just my mom made me one of the I still have the piggy bank for mine. Oh. No, my mom just, like, you know, set up one of those savings accounts with Republic Banks. The ones that give you discounts. So. Yes. I got discounts nice. at um, the bookstore, and I was the one I used the most. Hmm. That was cool. That is cool. I just remember I wanted to see. Right, this this senile old man. I don't know how he's traveling by himself. But he did. He was talking about like how, you know, he forgot his passport at home and he barely made it to the flight and I was like, bro, you should not like be traveling alone at this age. So that was I mean very strange thing. They don't keep like people at the airport to help people like that. They should. You probably should. I guess, you know, like everybody he talked to thought he was coherent enough to slip by. I guess he kinda was. Yeah, what? He kinda was? I don't know. He kinda was? I mean, he... He was carrying on. He knew what was going on, kinda. Yeah, he knew what was going on. Just very forgetful, (laughs) as well. That's just like me. He just like me for you. (laughs) Just like me for... Alright, uh, so you can see actual topic list. There's a topic list? Yeah. Yeah. It's from last week, but favorite shows getting cancelled. I I didn't think of any. I also didn't think of any. <laughs> um, I thought of one while I was thinking I didn't have any. Um, when I was sat in over to watch all the Marvel stuff in preparation for... I can't remember what it was. Endgame? Mm-hmm. Some movie it was. Endgame. No, not Endgame. Was it after Endgame? After Endgame? So, it's um, one of the Spider-Man. Let me, let me check. Yes, no, no, I watched Spider-Man. all the Marvel movies um, before the Black Widow. <laughs> in commemoration. I, I don't know if it was Black Widow either. I can't remember what movie it was. But anyways, yeah. Um, I had also started off. I thought I was going to the So, I was like uh, way before. Um... It was probably Endgame because it was a long time ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I started off, I watched like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and things as well. All these, like, I started watching these shows until I get fed up because it was taking so long to do actual movies. Um, so after Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was Agent Carter, oh, Peggy yeah. Carter. Um, and I loved that show so much. I love her. I love it. Was, I, find, I personally thought it was so good. Um, because it wasn't, like, real dramatic or anything. But it was, like, it was really nice. But it ended up season two because they didn't have enough viewers. And so they stopped. Mm-hmm. But it was a really nice show. I respect that. And I watched it. I rewatched it, like, twice. So it was really good. Yeah. That's it. I got thinking of anything else. I feel like I just don't watch shows that get cancelled. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I just, I just pick good shows, you know. <laughs> oh wait, no, it I did watch Sense Eight. I forgot. I did. Sense Eight was good, uh, but to be fair, they did come back and end it, and I did like the way that they ended it at least. But it was still kind of sad because it was clear that they had like big ideas for it. Oh, you know what? Um, there's random. You guys know Ben Feldman from no. No. Super Soul. I The main guy. Yeah, the main guy from hey, Super Soul. Is that a new Hawkeye? Since when? The Hawkeye TV show. Yeah, it's been it started like end of November. Thank, thank you for cutting me off to talk about Hawkeye. Sorry, sorry. I watch on Disney.com. Uh, Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the main actor Super Soul. Before that, he had he was in a show called A to Z. Oh, and, what was that about? Right. So we, let me find it. <laughs> it's a while ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, they're holding. 
Uh, right. A to Z. So it was about this guy named Andrew and this girl named Zelda. And they became, you know, a couple. And it was this very cute romantic comedy thing. Pretty good. And they, <laughs> I guess it was supposed to have 26 episodes because A to Z. But they only got 13. Rip. They cancelled it. Oh, Zelda was, um, uh, the actress from How I Met Your Mother. Your mother. Oh, yeah, she's cool. Yeah, she's cool. No wonder I like this. Yeah. Show. Yeah. And Feldman and Kristen Maluti. Very fun show. Shame it got cancelled. Yeah, that's my answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's also, there's a few others, because, like, my family and I, like, watch Jeopardy every night. So then we watch a lot. There's, like, a lot of ABC shows I've seen come and go. One, the first one that pops tonight is No Ordinary Family. Which I, I thought it was cool. Mm-hmm. It was basically just like a, a family that ends up in a random plane crash that takes them to the Amazon. And then randomly after that plane crash, they end up with superpowers. And then it's like, why do we have superpowers? And also, we have to keep it secret that we have superpowers. Um, and yeah, it was good. That's, that's about it. Yeah, I've also had a lot of more experience with like manga getting cancelled because... <laughs> I started following the Shonen Jump app a lot more uh, because it's like available now and very convenient, and it means that I can see all the new manga in Japan, which means I've gotten to experience just how cutthroat they are when it comes to series. Uh, and there was one that, because like I didn't want to get invested into anything, because I was like, "There's a high chance things will get cancelled." And then I heard back that this one series I kind of started had really good sales. And I was like, I like good sales. Good sales means good series, right? So I went and I caught up with the series, and it was real good. And I was like, okay, great. I'm going to read this series out into the future. And then I was reading chapter 30, and I was like, hey, this is this feels kind of this feels like they're kind of wrapping some stuff up, huh? It's, it's kind of weird. Also, why is this chapter so long? And then they make it to the end of the chapter. And like every Shonen Jump series, like when you reach the end of the chapter, there's like a to be continued at the end of it. But I got to the end and it just said end. And I was like, oh, they just they just cancelled that shit. <laughs> yeah. I was sad. Oh, that was called Phantom Seer. I was sad. And then I was like, you know what? I've learned my lesson. And then it happened to me again this year um, with Hunter's Guild Red Hood because I genuinely just thought that was an amazing series. And then, like, they just plot randomly to start accelerating around, like, chapter 14. And I was like, oh, it's getting cancelled, isn't it? And I got cancelled after 15 chapters, so... The way it ended was cool, though, because they basically did, like, what community did and broke the fourth wall and just exposed that, like, they're all fictional characters anyway, and that was the entire basis of the plot of the story. But, like, it had so much potential. You know? Yeah, that was it. Sure. Show me anything you have to see. No. I don't see. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, we yeah, about well, like halfway through because I said we'll go for like last time. Mm-hmm. So, impromptu drinks break. Go ahead. Ooh. I do have water today. I have iced tea because I fill up my water bottle with iced tea. Damn, let's call that an iced tea while. I hate. Oh, you. I have I have <laughs> gallons upon gallons of coconut water. <laughs> Um, uh, it's a no. Very happy. Why are you stuck by the yeah. water? Something happening now we should know about. Oh, no, well, no <laughs> not. Um, the back of my house has this really big coconut tree, but for a long time we couldn't find anybody to climb the tree because you know it just had to do the thing with the rope to to bring in the coconut. Um, yeah. it's a really tall tree as well. And on the side of the house, there's another one just like it. So today, um, my father got somebody to take it down, and it was like. Uh, holy hell, a lot of coconut, and he sold like more than half, and there's still a whole set. Um, remain so some of it went in the fridge as coconut water, which is uh, quite a lot of coconut water, and then it still have more outside. So, nice. um, I'm an electrolyte heaven. <laughs> Congratulations. I think it was my grandfather, like, one day just makes, like, coconut water and Gatorade for me, and I was just like, please, God, no. <laughs> just, like, yeah. I, already, I, I mean, I don't, like think I don't think... You're crazy. 
I don't think music mean... is bad, but I wouldn't try it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like I can see them pairing well. I just wouldn't pair them. Yeah, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just give me the bottle of Gatorade, please. Yeah, like yeah, but I wouldn't pair it because I just don't drink coconut water. You never had like what? Uh, you never had Bobby and milk? Like, what are you doing? I don't, I've never had it. I don't Spice see the point of it. I don't know. Why the fuck I watching a video you told Jonathan? What the fuck? What? Why was I in yeah, the hellscape that's... looking at a, picture, a video of your toe? Yeah, you finally experiencing what I went through. That was, that was a what story the for fuck? nobody. That was a story for nobody. What yeah. the fuck? I was just like casually scrolling through channels because I sent a really funny yeah. picture of Wooper and then I was just like, yeah, <laughs> what's like going on here? And then... funny picture of Wooper. Let me see this Wooper picture. <laughs> I'll put it in the podcast channel. But like, I was just like casually <laughs> scrolling. <laughs> no, what the funny Hold on. <laughs> I just have to say, I was playing, um, I just remember playing BDSP one night, and then I ran into a Wooper, and I caught it, and, like, Wooper just, like, its animation is just, it, like, headbanging slightly, yeah. because it has it's no it arms. Best. It looks so happy, and I was just absolutely losing it at, like, 3 a.m. <laughs> watching a fucking I Wooper. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was very tired and very out of it, and so that was, that was yeah. just it. No, that too is a story for another day. I don't know if I want that. I don't want to think about that you video ever that again. Story. No, I, please, for the love of God. Do you want that story? Anyway. <laughs> it's not a bad story. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just don't want to think it's about actually, it. It's actually... It's story. actually kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nice that my toe is completely fucked up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's nice because... Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever. I'm on. trying to figure out like a nice way to say. You can, you can and that's because things. Ali's accepted for who he is in the community. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's gotta be someone. Oh my god. Let me move on. What are you all talking about while I was gone? Uh, Banks. Um, Lachlan said the Trinidadian dollar is worth nothing. <laughs> I said, why fuck? I mean, we do you really literally well. said that though. No, we do not okay, the Caribbean, though. Like, compared hmm? to the rest of the Caribbean, like, because it's like, Barbados should not have an address. Yeah. Like, if he's not Jamaica, he's not Guyana, right? Like, yeah, I was going to say, at the very least, you guys aren't Jamaica. Yeah. Like, that was actual pressure. Yeah. I had an econ <laughs> teacher. Actually, I'm not going to tell that story. That might make my econ teacher look bad. Okay. Yeah. And I also just read another reason I should tell. Anyway, we're moving on now. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan, how do you feel about Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl? I took two tries to be gym number three because my team is bad. Yeah. We'll talk more about it after because I have a lot of thoughts, but this podcast doesn't need to be filled with my thoughts on this. I'll just on send the a game. picture of my team so people can see what I'm working with. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Where's my goddamn team? I should have a picture. Mm-hmm. But no, that fight in gym. Like, why was why was there a Lucario? Because why? there's always been a there's always been a Lucario in that gym. I you know I thought I'd be having a fun time, and it's just mm-hmm. a Lucario who just See, eats my Kadabra alive. I feel Look like I me. swept that gym with a Kadabra. I tried. Kadabra just died. Oh um, damn! You just and you then Crobat also passed away, and then I had to rely on a miss for Monferno to kill the Lucario. So that was, damn, that's how I... <laughs> Look at my team. What was Jealous going to Your team is not that bad. Like I used, I actually had four out of five of these things in my Hall of Fame. <laughs> so well, you already beat the game. No, I've not played since then. I'm too ashamed to go back. Yeah. No, I beat the game, like, I finally went back to playing the game after the post-game this week. I beat the game a week ago, and I will say this right now, the final boss. Um, I love Cynthia with all my heart. She is one of my favorite characters in the entire series. But fuck Cynthia. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the worst boss fight I have ever faced in the history of this entire fucking series. Why does her guard chop have a hidden ability? <laughs> what do you have, um, so Sunrush? It ha- no, um, Sam Rush is mega belly. It has rough skin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I was like hitting it 
like I remember I I like hit it with like a flare blitz or something just to be like let me get some chip damage before I like die. Um I like maybe see how many hits I can get off. And then I just like died because I had one HP left and I took rough skin da damage and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and then like because like back in the original games it was just like, oh, you'd have like fight Pokemon with no items and then maybe she'd have like a citrus berry on her main. Um but then like no her entire team has like items and they're all like perfectly like set to like all of her Pokemon. Take out her spirit. I literally spent like the fur like half of my team would get wiped out by just her spirit tomb and her guard chomp. <laughs> uh, not her guard chomp, and her gastrodon. And then I would just have to deal with the rest. Right. Fantastic look. Uh, yeah. I would also recommend bringing a grass type to deal with her, her gastrodon. And by that I mean bring a roserade because it's the only good one. <laughs> Which is why every boss in the game has one. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. What starter did you pick? You picked Piplup. I have Chimchar. Okay. We did the exact same thing we did for Sword and Shield, where we just both picked the same starter. Yeah. To be fair, in this game, you can catch all of them. Like, I spent all afternoon just now just catching all the starters, and now I have all of them. Good to know. We still can't transfer the yeah. Sword and uh, Pokemon home yet, can we? No. Okay. Because at some point, I want to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh well, okay. Yeah, let me get back to the list. No, this is on the list. <laughs> what one? As a black man. Oh no, no, what the fuck is this? How do you feel about Jake Paul knocking out Woodley last night? Was it last night or was it the night before? I I don't know who that man is. A former four time MME world champion. What does this got to do with me being black? Because Jake Paul keeps fighting black people specifically. Aren't, okay, okay. I don't follow like professional like boxing or anything, but like, aren't a lot of professional boxers black? Yeah. So okay. why does God do with fought any professional boxers yet? Right. Or like, okay, who has he fought then? Let me get the list. Mm hmm. Jeez. I know, that seems to me like, as a black man, how do you feel about this white guy dunking on, like, an NBA player? It's just like, I, <laughs> yes. I don't know if that's really a race issue. <laughs> We're gonna make it one. <laughs> <laughs> you really waited until I was the one black man in this call to just bounce on me. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel. Mm. Okay, first one was he fought Deji. Yes, I don't know who that is. Yes, I Okay. This is when Logan Paul fought KSI. Okay. Right? Yeah. Oh, wait, Jake Paul's also fighting people. Yeah. And Jake Paul's been fighting Ooh. people more than Logan has. Oh, okay. Then he fought some random YouTuber. Still Did not he fight. He fought then KSI, he... didn't he? Oh, wait, no, no, no that was Logan. Fought... Yeah, Logan fought KSI. Mm -hmm. Then he fought. You know, former NBA player Nate Robinson. You know, uh, I think he played for. Who did Nate Robinson play for? You can just Google it. I'm looking at it now. Mm -hmm. A bunch of different teams. Well, there you go. But former okay. NBA player Nate Robinson. Then he fought. Okay. He fought Tyron Woodley, right? Okay. No, he fought Askren first. He fought Ben Askren first. Who was another You're UFC saying guy. these names like I know who these people is. He's a UFC guy. Is Askin okay. also the guy that got knocked out by Masvidal? Let me check that. You tell me. Have you never seen that clip of Jorge Masvidal just knocking a guy out in like a couple seconds with a flying knee? Probably. I don't know who people are. Drama? Hello, what? I don't know, sorry. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Me neither. Okay, well he fought Ben Askin, former MMA fighter, right? Then he fought mm -hmm. Tyron. Then... At some point he was at the, you know, the BLM riots. Jake Paul? Jake Paul. He was looting. He was... Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that, that makes way more sense. That makes way more sense, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. He fought Askren, he fought Woodley, and then he fought Woodley again. And he absolutely knocked the hell out of Woodley. 
I see. Yeah. And well, there was this tweet that I saw. I'll let the he just... put the wooden Woodley. He put the. Yep, he did that. Yeah, I did just saw that. Yeah. Yeah. But no, if you watch a clip, he was absolutely brutal knockout. Jesus Christ, he put that boy to sleep. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, I prefer him, I guess, doing this than, like, scamming people? I don't fucking know. I guess. But, like... I don't like... Box I mean, I don't like Jake kind of Paul, but I also don't care about Jake Paul. Hmm? Right. Box in general is also kind of a scam, too. Everything's a scam. Welcome to life. Uh... Yeah. So that's that. Isn't YouTuber... Isn't YouTuber boxing all about like publicity and stuff anyway? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's all just a scam, anyways. Yeah. Speaking of black people in athletics, what's up with Kyrie Irving? <laughs> he immediately tested positive for COVID or something. Hold on, let me find his <laughs> mm. I think it was just some health and safety protocols. He got put in the health and safety mm. protocols. Okay, what does that mean? Um, he has to test positive like five days in a row. I mean, negative. Yes, that's negative five days in a row to actually play, oh. and he can only play on road games. Mm -hmm. Because again, the city of New York mandates that you be vaccinated if you were to play, and he is not. That makes sense. But like, yeah, the Brooklyn Nets finally gave in and said, "Yeah, we'll just bring Kyrie open, even if it's just for the road because we need him." Because right now, Kevin Durant and James Harden are both out. Mm -hmm. Oh, why are they out? COVID. Wait. Were they vaccinated? Yes. Maybe Kyrie had the right idea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Kyrie was onto something. <laughs> Kyrie knew something that everyone else didn't. No, oh, but like the NBA announced today that they suspended a bunch of games because yeah, half of the league has COVID right now or something. Hmm. Or at least they're in COVID protocols. So like, you know, they either have COVID or were in contact with somebody with COVID. Right. I mean, Jack Septicai has COVID. Good to know, I guess. Yeah. I also don't know anything about Jack Septicai. Thank you for bringing him up then, because I also do not I... know anything about Jack Septicai. <laughs> All I know about Jack Septicai. Is... <laughs> All I know about Jack Septicai is that he's Irish and has COVID. Why did you bring up Jack Septicai? <laughs> because you talked about people having COVID, and I was like, Jack Septicai has COVID. Which is a fact that I know and will do nothing with. So I was like, might as well, might as well bring bring this up. I just realized how absolutely absurd this caption is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was what like, is funny about this? No, it oh, just never mind. Yeah. Oh, oh. I really think. No, I really think. Cinder yeah. might be down there. What's funny yeah. about it? And you asked that I, so actually I didn't it. laugh. It wasn't funny. <laughs> so you asked funny. what was funny about it before you actually read it. She wanted us to explain. <laughs> what is do you show? Yeah, from? nothing. I'm confused now. You said yes. what is funny about this, and then you said, never mind, I read it. Implying. Hey, well, that... it's funny. It's a, but the flex is all the way up. Yeah, that, that line is funny. The picture is yes, funny. Yes, it was. Like, I don't that's, understand what's going on. That's, he's, like, that's not somebody making fun of somebody else. That is the guy saying that about himself. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Amazon was, uh, they did the thing. Wait, right, there was an Amazon warehouse and he just stopped going up and up. They did the thing. Hmm? <laughs> my sister was in my room. Peter working in an Amazon warehouse. No. Finally. There's an Amazon warehouse in these states. I can't remember which one. But there was a tornado warning. And Amazon, instead of sending their workers home, kept them in the warehouse to work. And then the tornado mm -hmm. hit the warehouse and killed several people. Oh, that sounds like Amazon. Sounds like Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Amazon warehouses are that just really just death camps, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about their workers at all. Um, but also oh, this hey, tornado. I can't remember the name of the tornado, but... Um, Hello. Jeez. 
Talk about people know. dying I saw a video. that she's a capitalism. <laughs> I saw well, a video. Also, I was on the spot for being black. Hell yeah. And it's really freaking scary. Y'all ever see these, these videos of these people filming these freaking tornado coming towards them? That's really scary. Like, I would hate to be 50 people. Speaking of, like, earlier today, I saw, like, a guy that I follow um, that I went to secondary school with, Sarah Jeff Bezos quote. <laughs> and it's all about, like, preserving the environment. Well, you know what that Sigma meal grind said? <laughs> I have it right here. It says, we must conserve what we still have. We must restore what we have lost. And we must grow what we need to live without degrading the planet for future generations to come. He didn't say any of that. And it's, uh, it's posted by is this it's posted by Forbes on the official Forbes Instagram. The the what? The official Forbes Instagram has posted this sp- supposed quote from Jeff Bezos about needing to preserve the environment. Jeff oh. Bezos, richest man in the world. Yeah. Well, you and see, I saw. Right? I was just like going through the story, and I was like, "Why the fuck is this guy sharing a Jeff Bezos quote?" Because he he is one of those people who was formerly involved in like forex, and you know <laughs> those types of ah, people. Yeah. Sigma and Miel then like, mindset. and then I just see why does he have a Jeff Bezos quote? And then I read the Jeff Bezos quote, and I'm like, "There's no way this is an actual Jeff Bezos quote because he would never say this." No, no, no. He can say things. No, he can like, say okay, sorry. He, wants, but he like... would not put this in practice. <laughs> Of course not, but you know, lip service works. One Thank does. You. Chief, how are you doing on the KMB? Um, let me let me look at the KMB. One second. I can resend it if you need a lot. No, no, I found it. I found it. Um, twenty-four. Oh, you feeling oh, great? That's nice. Damn, look at you. Oh wait, no, she's smiling. She's smiling at twenty-four. Never mind. Um, <laughs> wait. <laughs> She's six. smiling yeah, in both I of the top half. You. Yeah, six, six. I was feeling the dinosaur, <laughs> not not Kelly. <laughs> oh yeah, I was feeling the hoodie, not Kelly, inside the hoodie. <laughs> right. Okay. I love how we still don't understand how the KMB works. <laughs> <laughs> bigger number, mm. better, you see, right? fellas. You you sure? You yeah. sure bigger numbers better? Look at that is the base concept. Look at it. Look look at one and compare that to twenty-five. Yeah, one and okay, the overall trend is better, but it definitely outliers in this. We have an outlier right now. Like you can't tell me six is better than four. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. She looks No, four four is apathetic, but six is just like Six is wrong. like no, because like six is kind of just like uh four is like don't look at me, don't talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Ellie, blind Three design. is why are you looking at me? Why are you talking to me? Yes. No, but doesn't nine have that same vibe? Nine is what the fuck's going on. Yeah, nine, nine is, is like, also what the fuck's going fuck on. The... I feel I feel, you all are projecting your preconceived biases on Tiddy's images. I don't oh agree with God. you. Actually, wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. Whose hand is that in eleven? Because I looked at this the other that day. Like, is that my hand? No, that's yeah. Because I was like, it looked like my hand, but there's not enough veins in it. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like the overall trend is is up, but there are there are definitely ones I do not agree. I would with say that five world. looks like an outlier because even though she's looking off, she kind of looks like she might be smiling. Oh, the story behind that is like she's getting chewed out by her mom on the phone. Ah, okay. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah. Also, I don't think twenty five is like the smiliest smile. It's, it's the not the smiliest. Smile it's not the smiley smile, but it's also like the best picture of Kelly I have ever seen. Because it was taken by an yeah. actual professional photographer and not me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's why there's that right. gigantic glare stripe in front of her face. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I wasn't going to mention it, but you all mentioned it, so it's fine. He could have just shifted around and taken a picture from a different angle. <laughs> yeah. Angles are hard. It's not, you literally just go where the sun is. Maybe it was like in well, like, you know, they saw Kelly pass and I was like, hey, Kelly, post our picture quick. And then that was it, you know. I mean, that's Maybe probably what happens. Stage. But I just like to complain. Okay. Of course. Complaining is fun. <laughs> yeah. I need more negativity in my life. Let's see. Have you considered looking at battery? Um, 
But um, thanks, Rajiv. We want some negativity. <laughs> I'll negate to your ivity. <laughs> You're gonna have to workshop that one. Yeah, one. yeah. <laughs> have any of you actually ever licked a battery? Does it actually like shock you? Lachlan, you should I, know this. I think I, I think Why I Why should have I know this? this? Lachlan, you have the intellectual death of a, uh, you know, a kiddie pool. What does, what, what do God choose these things? Hey, what the fuck is Re- this? No, remember, look, Toya said Lachlan, how do you let you No, no, <coughs> no, no. that's for random jolts of electricity. It doesn't count if I'm for- putting Lachlan, it upon myself. you have a room temperature not- IQ. How do batteries have you? <laughs> have you licked a battery, Lachlan? I don't to electrocute myself. Have you licked a battery? No. You have batteries at home right now? I'm not gonna lick a fucking battery. I, you don't have to do that to the battery. You just have to lick it. No, I'm not gonna lick a battery. The but, nine volt ones, you know. So you have. I'm volt, not I'm licking any out. battery. But, uh, you have to count to five out loud. How do batteries taste? <laughs> I am not tasting batteries. <laughs> you have something against batteries? Yes. Your tongue. No. Anyway, but like, does it actually shock you? <laughs> Google it. Nah, you're the. Oh wait, Matt. Um, My, uh, was it not exactly. a chemistry? Sharma, Sharma, Sharma. Technology, Google that shit. Uh, <laughs> Will licking the battery shock you? No, I've licked the battery before <laughs> when I was a child. Hey! <laughs> and it didn't. Okay. And how wait, everyone's coming at me. <laughs> I was destroying Lachlan. <laughs> so the Christian team knows that he had like batteries. I demand like, a yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I demand justice to be There was this trick I, I saw um, in a show. And if you take a pizza, it was supposed to be gum wrapper, but I didn't have any gum wrapper. But I had foil, right? It's so right. it's in triple foil. And mm. if it was a gum wrapper, and you take the foil and you connect it end to end on a battery, the gum wrapper. It'll light on fire, and that's how they light cigarettes in jail, right? Um, okay. But I did that with foil, and I burned my finger on it, so... Um, yeah, that does... More than sorry, does don't do that. Luckily, you have the intellectual depth of kiddie poo. Go ahead, ass. I mean, like, it would be on brand, though. No. No, it... Fuck, man. Yes. Hey, 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 yeah. not you calling me up battery liquor. Golly? I was a child. That'll count. You would do it. I did do it as a child. You did? No. Oh. Golly. Why are you also yeah, disappointed? That's what I say. I was a child, but you would do it present day. That's no, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. I mean, no, I no wouldn't. There, there is no downside for this. Golly. Yeah, I reach, reach, reach. <laughs> oh. You sure? You sure you reach? <laughs> you call you so sound like that. Yeah. Uh, taxi away. Yeah. <laughs> Call this on like your whole room over. Yeah, reach, reach, reach. Okay, okay. Yeah, reach for you now. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, Call, give us one key and be how you doing. You're doing 25, you're 5 by 5. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Um, 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 let me see, let me see, let me see. 13. Go ahead, 13. Damn. Nice. Is, <clears throat> is that because above average? I think it's like average. That's average. That's bad. Dead center. And yeah. I'll come back for my prayers there now, so it ain't so bad today. Did you get press food? We make press food. We hold the press. Right, what? but like Yeah, my mm-hmm. Nice. What do you make? What was the food? It was rice, dal, curry stew, mango. Curry stew? Curry yeah. stew. Wait. Curry stew. Curry stew what? what? Chicken. Wait, prez? What kind of prez are you holding? It's not his prez, Rajiv. No, not oh. his prez. I thought he was talking about presentation. Wait, I feel no. I feel like <laughs> what? Prez. Lachlan did not. What do you? Like, I, I understand like, though. I understand what Rajiv is trying to say, right? When yeah, you say like, prez, we just normally think roti, right? But it doesn't no, all necessarily have to be. Just think about that. Hindu prez, which means no, no meat I've color diesel. Yeah. Yeah. I've never yeah. heard prayers being used oh, for a context that isn't like Hindu. 
they don't. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, normally when, doesn't. When well, they I'm say sure. like Christian stuff, they say like prayer gathering or something. They never call it like prayers. Yeah. Which is yeah. interesting. I never can. I never really thought about it before. But like it's just it's just like intuitively that's how you, you you know it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. Sixteen plus twelve is what? What? Twenty-eight. Sharma? Twenty-eight. Thanks. Yeah, good to have a math major in the call. <laughs> this is yeah. what I do every day. So math pickups for those. Hmm. I used to be pretty good at like arithmetic, and now I'm not. I'm not good at anything. You need some quick maths in your life. I kind of have to do that now because I'm no longer allowed to use a calculator. What? Yes, I am not allowed to use a calculator. Why? Because it's not allowed in university level math. That's so wrong. Like, actually, it's because there's no like, point to that. No, it's because. Mm-hmm. Like you know, that whole calculus with my brain. That, 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 that. <laughs> because uni math isn't about computation; it's about concepts. Ah, you mean it's not that they're banning you from using the calculator? No, we like, are banned. Calculated. Oh, like certain courses, like for exam, like most of my first year exams. I think the only exam I was able to use I don't a think calculator math for in my first like, year was should have existed beyond addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Shama, Shama. No, After that's that, a very... it's no longer math, it's something else. Sharma, you know math concept. is like the basis. Okay, here's the problem. You guys are working with plebeian I know what math. math is. Sure. No, you really don't. <laughs> because, okay, I, well, I mean, okay. No, no, Could you just keep math right? right now, bro? No, no okay, no. this is, okay. And? Here's the thing. I genuinely believe, like, as someone who's, like, done a heavy amount of math in their life, I do genuinely believe that, like, a statement that I've said in the past that I stand by is that DSEC math isn't real math. Oh, boy. <laughs> and that's because, like, <laughs> it's just, like, because in the same way, like, you're not learning, like, really, like, the full-on concepts of math. You're just learning, like, the math that you use in, like, everyday life. You're not learning about math. You're just learning how to use math concepts. Which isn't uh-huh. the same. No, like, I guess what, fair, I guess. Right? like the, what is mathematics? To me, math is like it's the study of like the behavior of numbers and like how they behave under certain conditions, how they can be used to like represent things and whatnot. But like mm-hmm. what you learn in like CSAC is just, oh yeah, this is how you perform these certain types of equations and undo these types of things. And most of the concepts you learn at, like, CSET level aren't going to, like, mean anything until you get to, like, higher levels and start doing high-level math courses. Yeah, but, but it shouldn't matter what you do for math at CSET because not everyone is going to pursue a college education math. No, I get that. But I'm still saying, like, CSET math is... I'm, just, I'm not saying that everyone needs to do real math. I'm just saying CSET math isn't real math. And also there's value for math beyond just, like, what you learn in secondary school. Right. But I mean, like, of course, it's value is... for it. I didn't say that it wasn't value for it. Yeah, I just yeah. find it just um. But yeah. I mean, like, isn't the whole yeah. number stuff only like part of math? There are lots of fields that of math that don't use numbers at all. Oh yeah, yeah. like yeah. I did. For sure. I was joking. You don't realize <laughs> that, like, I was gonna no, be no, serious please. because you all know I'm in university too, right? Yeah, we no, know. No, no, we understand. No, no, okay. Okay. But just like, no, but like, yeah, yeah. I call you up a two boy. <laughs> like, no, the idea of mathematics. Like, you say we don't really take you seriously half the time. It's like, yeah, <laughs> Colin, I don't take you seriously. I don't have your mouth. I'll cut mm-hmm. you in your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. I was but saying, like, I don't have the papers on me because I left my page. notes in Canada, but I did a math exam on Tuesday where, like, all I did was write paragraphs and draw pictures. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, I, I, have, yeah. I don't think I've really like solved that many like actual equations this year. I've just done proofs. I don't think there's like any one sentence definition for mathematics. It's a very yeah. very it's big very thing. Variable. Yeah. And like I when I, Yeah. And like when I came you to university that... and like every time I tell people I do math, it's always like, Oh, like you're gonna be a teacher then and I'm like no, because <laughs> there's a lot you can do with it. So wait, just what, don't what are know. you going to be? Though? Well, I think you do with just when I figure that out. Majoring yeah. math, you know, yeah. there's a lot of things. I mean, I mean, it might seem useless to most people, but it has uses. 
Yeah. That's one of the reasons I went to Waterloo because like they have a big math program and they have like a lot of information on different places that people have like managed to go with the math basis. It's just that I feel like a lot of people just don't understand that. Because of them. Yeah. Feel like, I feel like, like especially in the Caribbean, it's like when you tell someone you're studying something, I feel like with any given degree, people assume that there's two there's two jobs associated with that degree, and one of them is always teaching that degree. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Right. Sure. To yeah. be fair, right? In the Caribbean, this is true. Yeah, that is true because of the Caribbean's limited job markets. But like in general, that's just a mentality that seems to exist among yeah. like people. Which is why you like don't like I've run into it with like Uber drivers and whatnot as well when I've like told them I'm but studying math. There was a guy when you major in subjects that you do at a high school level with the same name, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Like, math. Some people major in physics, I major in chemistry. And mm-hmm. that's all they know, those keywords. That's that's what they know it's applied in high school. So it's like mm-hmm. Yeah, you're gonna teach. I don't know anything else. So. Yeah. It's, it's also, like I said before, because you don't really, like, touch the deeper parts of it. Because there's, like, a lot of stuff I do in math that, like, you wouldn't associate with math now. Like, like I said, I remember I was talking about, like, how I didn't explain a point well to someone. And they were just like, but you do math. And I'm like, yes, this was for a math course. Because, I, like I said, I did a math course. The latter, like, for pretty much half of the term so far, I spent mainly writing paragraphs for one of my math courses. And that's because, like, after a certain point, it stops just being about, like, 2 plus 2 is 4 and starts being, with like, about, like, understanding Why? shit, you know? Not like Why is I, do, plus two I would four. hate... I would hate... To, <laughs> true. Why? Tell us that. Why what? Why is 2 plus 2 4? Uh, because when you take two things and you add two more things to them, it's counting. Because it's 2 no, above no, 2 is 4. So once you take it's two things stum- and you take... Four two things. Once you count those two sets of two together, it becomes four. Hmm? That's true. Because you have a set of four. When you take one set of two things and one set of two things, you ultimately end up with a set of four things. I could actually like I mean, devote some time to like trying to prove like proving this give mathematically. Me, yeah. You know, give you me the exactly. form of proof for uh, closure and addition for integers. <laughs> is there a so, formula for that? Yeah, there is. If if there is, I don't want to know. Let me move on. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Like, there is. Like, shut, up, proof, shut up! Like, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, shut up! <laughs> this is no. <laughs> this is now a mathematics podcast. A, no, we are we are at all right over. now. No, we are at all right now. You're yeah. wasting time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what the weird thing with me and Matt do? Like, I was good at basic Call math, Jesse. but... Call Call you why, Jesse? Call me why, Jesse? Very talk. He's only been here for Colin, like 10 minutes. We're not taking on what you're saying, Colin. Colin, we're not taking on what you're saying. That's no, I fine. Take it on. Wow, that's mean. <laughs> you can't see back to me. me on. So I can't say it now? You, I mean... You know. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, no so we just knew that you were joking about... We weren't, like, serious about... But we were listening to you. Let me get closer to you, Max. <laughs> well, clearly, <'cause laughs> not for that. We are hmm? at an hour, so I tell all this shut That's up. That's not even oh. my dogs. God. Anyway, <laughs> you doing closing remarks? Yeah. Oh my God. If you see these dogs in your front yard, front yard, just let them know I'm going hard. Bing bong. Rajiv. <laughs> yeah, maths is fun. Oli. Yeah. <laughs> two plus two plus. Oh man, it's fun that street. With Max. Sharma. <laughs> and she dog was back in. Um Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thoughts on dog girls. Thank you everybody for coming out. What? Um Headpats. Lots of headpats. Th- thank thank you everybody for coming out. Happy holiday. <laughs> I all right, all yeah. of you. Next week is yeah, we were, supposed I to talk about we were supposed to talk about Christmas stuff, but no. I thought it was since... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Y'all, 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 y'all want to talk about that? You were supposed to steady topic away. You didn't I even... Said. Wait, was that even on the topic list? Wait, hold on. Oh, shit, it was. It was, it was yeah. Yeah, all right. So, um, I mean, if you think about it, it really is a we failure. We kind of <laughs> get away with it. <laughs> we really think about this. We could still just tell this in the Christmas episode. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Christmas episode. Wait, who do they thumbnail? <laughs> right. Somebody send him up. 
teacher doing math? Oh, you want to talk? Oh, I don't have the laptop right now. Why not make one? Um, like you, hey, you need it now, now. Well, the episode is ending now. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be uploaded. I don't know. Okay, I'm okay. well, like, until it's done processing. I guess. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Charm will do it. Charm will do it. Next week. Who wants to do next week? Cool. If I got a computer, I would do almost every every episode. But the, I, what I, is that's no why I ask. That's no why I ask. I just want to know what <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Thank you, bro. Wait, we, we, go figure it some out. We, we go figure some out. We go figure some out. You go figure something out. Okay, cool. Good night. Good night. Wait, yes, oh, sorry. we're still recording? Yes. I think we do, yeah. <laughs>